The Suzuki Ortiga and Mitsubishi Expander are two of the most popular models in the compact MPV segment. Now, in recent years, these two Japanese titans, we'll call them titans, have won the hearts and minds of Filipinos simply because of, well, their practicality and their performance. If you yourself are in the market for a compact MPV, chances are that these two cars are in your shortlist. The truth is, we actually know this because we see the data on autodeal.com.ph. But which one should you take home? Which one is the right car for you? Allow us to help you decide. We're going to be taking on the top of the line models of both brands in this head to head comparison. Let's get at it. Now, talking about exterior, both cars look absolutely great in their own way. The Suzuki Ortiga has a more curvaceous profile with a touch of classic accentuations. The Expander, on the other hand, looks edgier and trendier, with Mitsubishi even giving it the dynamic shield treatment, allowing it to kind of seamlessly blend in with the rest of its stablemates like the Montero Sport. Now, in terms of size, the Mitsubishi Expander is well like your Tito Boy that claims that it's longer, taller, and wider than the Suzuki Ortiga with it measuring 4,475 millimeters in length, 1,750 millimeters in width, and 1,700 millimeters in height, and has a wheelbase of 2,775 millimeters. The Ortiga stretches about 4,395 millimeters, a width of 1,735 millimeters, and stands at 1,690 millimeters, with a wheelbase of 2,740 millimeters. With regard to its headlights, the Expander GLS gets LED while the Ertiga GLX is equipped with halogen projectors. As for the wheels, Mitsubishi gave its MPV a set of 16-inch two-tone alloys coupled with 205 55-series tires, while the Suzuki has 15-inch alloys with 185 65-series tires. Both come with turn signal indicators on their side mirrors, however, only the Expander GLS gets chrome accents on its door handles, while the Ortiga GLX sticks with body-colored ones. We all would agree that beauty is subjective, as is so our decision on this round. Based on our personal preferences compared with the Ortiga, the Expander impressed us more with its distinctive and more commanding looks, making it the winner of this particular category. Still, we would say that the Ortiga might be better fit for those people that like more of a classic looking automobile. We are happy to report that both automobiles are spacious. Legroom and headroom are roughly the same on both models, with the Mitsubishi Expander having just a little bit more elbow room. However, ingress and egress to the Expander's third row seats are much easier compared to the Ortiga thanks to its tumbling second row seats. As for the cargo space, both MPVs get 150 liters of space with all the seats up, and you can even maximize this by folding all of their seats for a flat loading area. The overall interior layout of both vehicles is very utilitarian due to their hard yet durable materials. Standard features on both models include a push start button with smart keyless entry, steering wheel with audio controls, fabric seats, and rear air conditioning vents. An automatic climate control on the other hand is only available on the Ortiga GLX, while only the Expander comes with cruise control. In terms of infotainment systems, the Expander GLS comes with a 6.9 inch screen, while the Ortiga gets a slightly bigger 8 inch screen, and both displays are touchscreen. Only the Expander gets a six-speaker audio system, while the Ortiga only comes with four. Both interiors are well-appointed and family-friendly, and there are some features that are exclusive to each model. Given its slightly more spacious interior with other convenience features thrown in, the Mitsubishi Expander wins this round. Despite that, we're actually still quite presently surprised at how well-packaged the Ortiga is at that price point. Both MPVs are powered by a similar 1.5-liter gasoline engine. However, where it differs are the torque figures. The Ortiga's mill churns out 103 horses and 138 millimeters of torque, while the Expander's engine produces 103 horses and a healthier 141 millimeters of torque. The Expander gets 9 kilometers per liter in the city and 16 kilometers per liter on the highway, while the Ortiga gets 9.4 kilometers per liter in the city and 20 kilometers per liter on the highway. Now, while both models can come with a manual transmission, 
Both range topping trims of the Ortiga and Expander are mated to a four speed automatic gearbox. Now, both vehicles are known for their great performance on the road. However, given its slightly higher torque figures, the Mitsubishi Expander wins this round. Standard safety and security features on both models include dual front airbags, ABS, EBD, an immobilizer, a reverse camera, and Isofix tethers. However, only the Ortiga comes with parking sensors, so for the winner of this round, it's the Suzuki. Okay, so at last we've come to the moment of truth, its price. Now, the Suzuki is definitely much more affordable than the Mitsubishi, coming in at just under 1 million Philippine pesos, while the latter, well, it's actually north of 1 million 100,000 Philippine pesos. While deciding on your budget is a different story altogether, we think that the Expander is the better contender in terms of value for money. If, and I do mean if, you can stretch your budget to a little over a million, then the Expander GLS is the way to go. Aside from its slightly more spacious interior, distinctive looks, and greater torque figure really, the Expander also comes with some neat features such as cruise control, which would really come in handy during long drives. And it's also in the extra details in its exterior and interior that really justify the extra cost. But if you're being strict with your budget, good on you, then we have these two options for you. Option number one is that, well, you don't necessarily have to go for the GLS. You can go for a variant just below it. And if your budget is still tight on that, then you can go with the Suzuki, which we gotta be honest with you, we are very well impressed about how packed it really is for its price. We hope that this at very least helped you decide on which particular compact MPV you're gonna take home. I got one last thing to say to you. Happy shopping. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. We'll see you soon.